umbilical cord. It's a life-sustaining organ that exists only for nine months. Also known as the afterbirth, the placenta nourishes the fetus and acts as its lungs, liver, and kidneys. But it remains largely a mystery. And if something goes wrong, both mothers and babies can suffer. It has been very difficult to actually assess and evaluate and understand the placenta while it's still in vivo, meaning in the body working. And the challenge is, can we try to evaluate the placenta in a way that we can see things going wrong early and say, hey, this pregnancy is already having some trouble. Now there's a new push to develop tests and diagnostics to better understand the placenta and its role in a range of pregnancy complications. The studies have become more important given Zika-related birth defects. The mosquito-borne virus can evade the placenta's protective barrier though scientists aren't sure how. In Washington, doctors are experimenting with 3D printers to recreate an outer layer of the placenta using biological material. They hope to shed light on a potentially deadly condition called preeclampsia, which causes dangerously high blood pressure. Since the root of the disease is during the first trimester and currently there is no good way to monitor what happens, there is, so, so there is a need for us to create a model to actually study the fundamental biology. In the U.S., preeclampsia affects up to 8 percent of pregnancies. Melissa Christopher was at risk for the complication because of a kidney transplant four years ago. So for me, um, you know, pregnancy was a fear because I didn't know. It's a lot of unknown. Um, so definitely any additional research would be beneficial. The afterbirth no longer an afterthought, thanks to a boom in research. Kathy Matheson, Associated Press, Philadelphia.